Hey folks, Keith193Lumber coming back at you with a barley wine. A barley wine. I'm doing it. I'm drinking some barley wine. Uh, this is from Dissolver. It's actually a collaboration. Yes, it's in collaboration with Corporate Ladder Brewing Company. Um, I brought this back from when we went to Asheville last year. Um, uh, I actually just reviewed a beer yesterday from uh, our trip as well. So I'm just getting around to these things, you know. Um, this is buy high, sell high, get high returns. Bourbon barrel aged brown sugar barley wine style ale aged 24 months in 18 year bourbon barrels with 100% river bend malt and brown sugar 12.5% alcohol by volume uh, it was bottled 8-16-2022 today is August 1st so it's just under a year old. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a beer that I, I want to hold on to because I was thinking I would like do something with it or, or share it with people or whatever and then I don't know I haven't really been drinking that much and I'm just trying to get rid of some beer that I have and uh when I was cleaning up in here the other day and moving stuff around I saw this and I was like ah, eh, I'm gonna fucking drink it <laughs> so now I'm drinking it well wow, this wax is thick come on Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes, I can. There it is. All right. Uh, so yeah, I've been I've been reviewing uh, some barley wines. Um, the last one I reviewed I haven't posted yet. I actually might post this one before I post that one. Because that one I just bought for funsies. And then I reviewed it because why not? Um, but this one I'm excited about. That looks super nice. That looks like, that's like a really like deep red color, like a crimson kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's pretty clear. Uh, it looks like it's got a nice carbonation too. Um, but yeah, not much of a head. It's a, it's a tannish color for what I'm seeing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, I don't know if you can tell because it just looks like brown, like when I'm not holding it up to the light. But yeah, it's a super nice red color. Um, let's see what it smells like. <sighs> hmm. It smells like bourbon. I wish it was a tad colder. I took it out of the fridge because I was like, it's in the fridge. It's kind of cold. It needs to sit for a while. And then uh, I ended up not doing the review as early as I thought I was going to. So it's been out of the fridge for like two hours, I think, right? As of, as of now. There is a weird kind of uh, it smells good. It smells it smells like bourbon. Um, there's some like marshmallow vanilla thing. Yeah. 
there's like a, it's almost like a, like it's not quite, but there's like a, maybe it's the brown sugar, but there's like a kind of like cinnamon or like baking spice kind of thing a little bit. And then in there, there is this, so it's a brown sugar, bourbon barrel aged brown sugar barley wine style ale, aged 24 months and 18 year bourbon barrels. There is like this, like, kind of like, the, the only thing I can, it's not, it's not bad. It's just weird, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid to say it because I don't want it to sound like whatever, but uh, I'm just gonna say there's a little bit of like an off thing, but I think, I think that might actually be the barrel, the actual wood barrel coming through a little bit through this I think yeah a little bit of <clears throat> I said marshmallow and vanilla thing but there's there's it's a little bit of a toasted marshmallow yeah all right it's all starting to make sense now I it's aged 24 months so it makes sense putting it all together in my head it was just it was something that was catching me off guard because i don't think i've had a barley wine or maybe any beer that was eight that's been aged that long no that's not true that's not true but uh whatever Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Oh yeah. Toast and marshmallow. Yeah. Um, up front. Like one of the first things, or maybe the first thing. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Um, it's very brown sugary. Um, and up front, you get that brown sugar thing. And it kind of lasts, it changes a little bit, but it pretty much lasts through the whole beer to the finish. Somewhere around the middle, the that toasted marshmallow thing comes in. And there is definitely like a slight dry woodiness in there as well. And that's the same thing that I was getting in the nose, but it's it's far more uh, obvious that it's the barrel wood, the wood barrel, whatever, um, in the taste than it was in the nose. Cause I kind of had to put it together, but if I had just tasted it, I, I would have put that together kind of a lot more quickly. Yeah, Little, there's a nice cherry note in here. It's not it's not tart cherry. It's like a sweet cherry, but like a, a black cherry. Um, or whatever the real world uh, equivalent of that is. All these uh, all these flavors. I don't. I can't even. I don't even know what's a real flavor or what's a made up flavor. Um, 
Yeah. This is super good. I wish it was a little cold. It's pretty smooth. Um, it's got a little bit of a It's got a little bit of like a creamy fluffiness, just slightly. Um, yeah, and it, I feel like there's there's a bunch of bourbon in this. There's a bunch of bourbon in this. Um, actually, I think on the finish, I'm getting a little bit of a heat and I think it's actually from the, the bourbon and not the ABV. Um, but it's kind of throughout it. Like there isn't a point where I would say, oh, the, this is where the bourbon comes in. Um, yeah. Very toasted marshmallow. And then the bourbon thing is, like I said, it's throughout it. And like, I don't really notice it unless I'm like, specifically thinking about it but it is kind of it's kind of i mean it was aged for 24 months so it is pretty big but the way like i said it doesn't come in at a specific spot so it's not like uh I don't know. i forgot where i was going with that Yeah, that cherry note is crazy. I don't know, it's kind of like, it's weird because I had a, I think the beer I had yesterday had like notes of this, uh, but there's, there's a little bit of like a Dr. Pepper vibe. Dr. Pepper note, maybe a little bit of cola um, in here. Yeah, this is super nice. It's sweet. I said that already, but um, uh, I don't know if that's why they aged it for so long, or if this was like a intentional thing, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice, sweet, nice, and I don't know. You know, I don't know if I would, if someone just handed this to me and didn't tell me what it was, I probably wouldn't guess it was a barley wine. Well, I guess I might guess because it's definitely barrel aged. It's definitely bourbon barrel aged and it's not an imperial stout. So I would probably guess barrel aged barley wine, but So yes, I would guess that it was a barrel aged barley wine, but just because the options of things that I could guess were low. I don't know. It's good though. I like it. Um, so yeah. I hope we get to go to Asheville again soon because that place was awesome and we definitely did not get to check out all the places. And, uh, and such so so yeah um yeah i don't know i don't think i've had anything uh from corporate ladder before i've heard of them but i don't think i've had anything from them before so i don't know if if you've had anything from corporate ladder and you've enjoyed it let me know <clears throat> excuse me so yeah i hope you're all doing well 
take care of yourselves, take care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram, 93lumber. That's spelled out, 93lumber. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.